A 22 News I-Team update now on the crumbling concrete issues that are impacting homeowners in western and central Massachusetts. A bill that would help people pay to get a foundation repaired is being considered by lawmakers. 22 News I-Team reporter Taylor Knight has an update on where that bill stands at the State House. The bill is currently being considered by the State Senate Ways and Means Committee. At least four members of that committee are from districts where foundations have tested positive for the mineral that causes concrete to crumble. This is a devastating issue for families that have been impacted and quite frankly at this point they've been waiting a very long time. State Senator Eric Lesser is on the State Senate Ways and Means Committee that's currently considering the future of the crumbling concrete bill. It would help homeowners pay to get their foundations fixed. Something that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, is not covered by insurance, and leaves the house pretty much worthless. An amendment added to the bill would make it so insurance companies would have to pay if they previously denied or rejected claims for a crumbling foundation at any point from 2000 to 2021. State Senators Michael Moore, Ryan Fatman, and Ann Gobi are also on the Ways and Means Committee. The three of them and Lesser are sponsors of this bill. In a statement to the I-Team, Senator Fatman said he's working to move the bill along because for many, a house is their largest asset. Pyrotite has been found in homes as far west as here in Southwick, then stretching all the way up into Athol and Ashburnham, and as far east as Grafton. Many of these communities offer tax abatements to homeowners with crumbling concrete, which costs local governments too. You know, these are the, the taxes that support schools, that support police and fire, sanitation services. And if you have large numbers of homes that are getting taken off the tax roll, it's going to create a big problem for these towns. It was originally thought that the tainted concrete came from a single quarry in Connecticut, poured by now defunct Connecticut company J.J. Modis in Stafford Springs. But the I-Team has confirmed that at least two homes with crumbling foundations in central Massachusetts did not get their concrete concrete from Modus. That means there is at least one other company in the area with pyrotite in their aggregate. This is going to be way bigger than it was in Connecticut when there was one known one known source. Now we have that plus our own. So the number of homes affected in Massachusetts is going to be far greater. Pyrotite is the rust coloring you see here. It causes concrete to expand once it's exposed to oxygen and water, eventually causing the cracks. Part of the bill would require that quarries here in Massachusetts are tested for the mineral. All of the red areas on this map are where it could naturally occur in the area. If there is a quarry over one of those areas, the concrete aggregate would likely contain pyrotite. This is a, a serious state issue here and needs to be addressed. It cannot be delayed any longer. The Ways and Means Committee is the second to last stop before the bill goes to the full floor. Working for you with the 22 News I-Team, I'm Taylor Knight.